Well, folks, this is my old um, Champion 5500 watt backup generator I've had for about 10 years now. Uh, as you can see, it uh, hasn't been cleaned in a long time, and more importantly, the gas hasn't been replenished in here for at least five years. Um, this gas has been sitting in here forever, and it hasn't been started in approximately two years. And you can see, oh, I don't know, this might not be a good thing. I'm going to try and document this just to see if it starts, and this will kind of debunk the myth to people that gas goes bad. What I've done differently on this than what my dad used to do with his power tools, he used to shut the fuel off and let the carburetor drain every time he used uh, a lawnmower or whatever. But he was constantly having to take the carburetors apart and clean them because the fuel would varnish up in them. This one here, the gas valve has not been turned off. See the gas valve is on, and um, hopefully the, the gas hasn't evaporated from the float bowl, and what gas did evaporate would be replenished. And uh, let's just see if this thing starts. Now I don't even know if the battery's got a charge in it because it hasn't been started in about 20 months. So let's see what happens. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the choke on. And we'll see if it starts up. So far, nothing. But uh, it started up no problem. The gas that's in the tank here is fine. I'm going to shut it off because it's kind of loud. <clears throat> so there you have it. I did take a bit of cranking to get it going, but it did start no problem. And uh, this gas has been in this tank for about five years now. It's only been filled up once since I purchased the generator. I've had it about 10 years. And uh, we don't get many power failures here. Uh, it's still got about a quarter of a tank. And I've never drained the tank and I've never put any uh, fuel line uh, stabilizer in. It's just been regular unleaded gas that's in here. Uh, what I've done differently than what a lot of people do is I've, I leave the uh, uh, fuel line turned on because I found from past experience like with my dad's power equipment every every spring he was having to take carburetors apart and clean them take all the varnish out and that's because when the fuel evaporates it leaves a, a, a sticky varnish behind that will clog up the jets by leaving the fuel uh, valve uh, open as fuel evaporates it's replenished by fresh gas so you never end up with a residue it's always replenished and um, again for, for the last five years I've never put any gas in this thing it's old it still runs we'll start it again here Okay, the next thing I'm going to try and start is something else that hasn't been started up in years. This is my old 95 uh, Thunderbird Super Coupe that I have not had on the road uh, since September 
2011 and it's now September 2014 so this vehicle has been in storage for three years you can tell it's been in storage for three years the tire has gone flat it um, hasn't been started the battery has been disconnected and actually it has been started I started up every I don't know once or twice a year just to make sure that everything still works um, so this was started uh, a while ago uh, earlier this year in the winter it was started I'm gonna start it up today and uh, we'll see whether it still runs I hope it runs and um, the gas in here has not been well it's been parked it hasn't been on the road you can see from all the dust on it it's been sitting here for years uh, the gas in this tank is three years old so we're gonna connect up the that ought to do it that should be good enough and we'll start this thing up and see if it starts okay the moment of truth key into the ignition Ooh. I think those tappets are just a little bit loose till we build up some oil pressure get some oil into the head listen to it it sounded better you can certainly hear a lot of ticking in the head there but it's running Again, the oil in here, or the gas in here, and the oil is at least three years old because it hasn't been touched. And, uh, yeah, I know it needs some work done on it, but uh, look at all the cobwebs. i got to clean this thing out. This is going to be a restoral project someday, so I'm just kind of storing it until I get around to uh, doing a full restoral on it. lifter or something in here. Didn't do that last time I fired it up. Oh well, one more thing to uh, have to deal with, I guess. But, just goes to show you that uh, even though the gas has been in this thing for three years, it's still running. It's still started up. Thanks for watching.